Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joey. Welcome to my crossbow dagger PvP guide in under 15 minutes. Alright, let's get started with the crossbow dagger active skills. Okay, first off, quick fire. This is your first and primary ability to use in your rotation. Majority of your damage dealt hinges upon this ability. Combining this with Torn Gale and Selfless Diffusion yields the highest burst damage within a short period of time that these abilities are active. Coming right up is Nimble Leap. It's your one mobility skill that allows you to create or close gaps on your targets for PvP. This skill also buffs your critical damage and range for half a second by 20%. You can use this to kite targets as you slow them down with your crowd control while dealing damage to them. Let's take a look at your third ability, Mortal Mark. Provides a debuff that gives a 60% anti-heal and deals an accumulated damage buildup based on the damage you've done on a target that this debuff is active on. It also deals extra base damage if you attack a Mortal Mark target. Here it is, one of my favorite abilities for crossbow. Multi Shot, a wide cone based ability that allows you to deal damage in a 60 degree cone which applies a weaken with a 70% chance and a collision knockback to targets within its range. Each target hit by multi shot reduces your mobility skill cooldowns by 2 seconds. This ability synergizes very well with Nimble Leap. Coming next up is Selfless Diffusion. This is one of the core abilities of Crossbow. This ability removes all bind and slow movement debuffs and gives you the ability to phase through targets. It also increases your distance traveled when using mobility skills by 25% as well as increasing your melee, magic, and range evasion by 600 at epic 1 and 720 at epic 5 for 1 second. This ability also increases your offhand attack chance by 100% for 6 seconds. Take note, this ability also is affected by buff duration stat. So if you increase your buff duration, this ability's effect gets increased as well. Ah yes, Torn Gale, another one of Crossbow's core abilities. This self buff fires an additional projectile for 6 seconds, dealing damage equal to 29% of your base damage. How does this ability work? For each attack you make, it fires an additional projectile. For our next ability, it's Mana Exchange. This ability is very simple. It converts your health to mana. Here comes the next ability, Recoil Shot. Recoil Shot is a single shot that can be used up to 3 times that deals bonus damage if you use it after using a mobility skill. Take a look at the third from the last ability, Merciless Barrage. Basically, your machine gun skill that shoots multiple arrows at a designated location. Not recommended to use in PvP as it locks you in that animation even though you can still move. This ability cannot be controlled when it starts. You either cancel it or you let it rip. We're almost there. Coming up next is Wind Snatcher. This ability slows your targets and increases your movement speed. If the target is already slowed, decrease their attack speed and increase your attack speed. This debuff is also classified as a weaken. This is also very good to use in PvP as it helps you kite your enemies. Last but not the least, Weak Point Shot. Attacking a target that's using a pure attack has an 80% chance to apply a weaken that increases you and your party member's critical damage against the target by 30% for 6 seconds at epic 1 and 21% at epic 5. This ability is mainly used in PvE. Alright guys, finally, we finished the active skills. All right, now we're at the passive skills and I'll show you what we'll use for PvP. So starting with first skill is Assassin's Instincts, a level 5 epic that gives you 
a flat 290 critical hit for us. Next, Vicious Fangs. When you use Inject Venom, it applies a bonus of 226 additional crit. And then third, Fractal Edge, it's self-explanatory. It gives you 18% crit damage. You want this. You need this. This improves your burst. And last, for this, on this wall, we got Shadow Walker, where this is one of your most helpful defensive passives, because when you do a dodge, let's say I do a dodge, gives you that bonus, evasion, and damage reduction. It's very important, this ability, especially when you're gearing towards evasion building. Belladonna's Poison. It increases your damage by 11% and your duration by 51% during the day. But when it comes to night, it makes your poison damage 51% stronger, which makes you a force to be reckoned with, especially if you have the Arch Boss. If you don't have the Arch Boss, the thing you can use about uh, the good thing about this is that Shadow Strike is considered as poison, Silence is considered as poison. It says here that you apply silence for 4 seconds, what it does is it increases that silence duration to 6 seconds because it's 51% if at day. But at night, you don't really see the difference because uh, Shadow Strike, the silence doesn't really do damage other than the initial hit of Shadow Strike, okay? And then the most important passive that you can have as a crossbow is the Opportunist. The Opportunist reduces all your skill cooldowns by 0.36 at level 5 and at 0.30 at level 1. So let me show you what what the, what the that looks like, right? Let's say uh, I use my quick fire, right? Or or use all of my abilities. Let's say let's just pop out all my abilities right here. Yup, there you go. Look at my cooldown at the bottom, all right? See my abilities, 54, 18 seconds. When I use my, my dagger, my knife throw, which applies a weaken, it reduces these cooldowns, all of my cooldowns. So technically, if you combine that with Thorn Gale and Celtic Diffusion to improve the projectile uh, output of your knife throw, it just reduces your cooldown. It resets basically your quick fire, allowing you to do more quick fires, better burst, and yeah, the, uh, I'll show you like, basically. Goes like this. Reset that, do it again, put more weaken, pop thorn gale, quick fire, thorn, a uh, necro, sorry. More weaken, the more you weaken your target, the more cooldown reduction. But the cooldown reduction is limited to 10, 10 instances per second. So you can't really abuse this anymore. They, they kind of nerfed it. But still, it's it's pretty good for PvP and PvE. Hey guys, here's a freebie. 
let's look at the build so for global launch this is looking to be what you should uh, or if you would like to follow this build guide this is what you should go for for expo dagger uh, only at the start okay disclaimer this is not for end game it's not for end game this is only at the launch the first month or so if you can fully trade it you'll be able to compete against people already grinding forwards their purples okay so elite resistance knife you can get this from uh, the quest crossbow you can craft through lithograph the rest of the pieces you can farm grind anywhere lethal fortune ring i think you get that from lithograph follows ring it drops trainer's belt it drops as well prophet's bracelet i know it's lithograph it's been so long kind of forgot shock trooper i think this one's from the dungeon pretty much everything here you can see is achievable to free to play okay so then we'll look at your stats see we're chunky on melee evasion that's a that's a high value 1470 at the start not a lot of people are gonna have a lot of hit therefore this build is gonna be really good to counter melee classes because crossbow is not a long range class you are mid to close range class and at the start if there's a lot of melees and then you you build towards range of magic evasion you, you're basically fucked by all the melees right because in, in the current kr version it's a tank man it's disgusting everyone's a tank like 90 percent of the server is a tank you know sn is great sword sn is dagger sn is swan all that all, all that crap that's why melee evasion would be good 